I am not convenient. Not someone you will just float through day to day with. I want intention, not just inertia. Nothing sexy about the status quo. Passion has multiple faces, among them ambition, stubbornness, and high expectations. Among them inspiration, empathy, and loving fiercely. I am not a temporary distraction, deployed as entertainment when you want me and turned off when you get bored or tired of listening. If conviction is what you find compelling, know that conversation will be required. Not small talk, but big ideas. Not shallow banter, but deep discussions. I will ask you to hear me and do my damnedest to hear you, but I will not roll over. I am not that kind of woman. I am not willfully myopic. I see the world as beautiful, and I see the world as a war zone. To some, picking my battles may look like picking fights. I'll work on that. Delivery matters. But the result won't be my surrender. I have many hills to die on. You can bleed with me or watch me bleed out. Either way, conviction will be the death of me. I am a piece of work. I require effort, patience, and forgiveness, not least of all from myself, but not just from myself. As you chisel away at the rough edges and polish the curves that make me three-dimensional, as you challenge me to do better, and I challenge you to do better, and I challenge me to do better, I am not just a piece of work, but a piece of artwork. Dynamic, kinetic, and growing. If you come along, it's not just for a ride. It's as an active participant in the ship steering, and you come willingly, expecting some turbulence and tumultuous oceans. We will emerge with salt in our mouths and in our wounds, but will emerge. We do not coast the convicted. Those of us afflicted by the constant consciousness that there is always work to be done, and it's our job to do it, because who else will, if not us? The ones who are not convenient. The ones driven by flame and conviction, whose ferocity is a gift and a curse, but mostly a gift. And one that will not be extinguished out of convenience for someone else's ego or their plans to bury themselves headfirst in the sand. We are imperfect. I am not perfect. Though the pieces of me worth loving are mired with flaws, they themselves are not flaws. They are not always convenient. They are not opportunely timed distractions. They are not always the easiest to live with, but they are often harder to live without for those who love us. Because without them, we are merely a shell, and no one loves us for our shiny coating. These pieces, messy, hot, and volatile, catalytic, optimistic, and inspired are everything that makes us alive. And there are plenty of us who find that beautiful.